Published 7:32 Eastern Standard Time, the 5th of March 2018. Updated 8:20 Eastern Standard Time, the 5th of March 2018. Lionel Messi had already reached legendary status at Barcelona before netting his 600th goal for them on Sunday against Atletico Madrid. But with such a landmark, there is no harm in revisiting the moments that saw the little Argentine labeled the best in the world. Sportsmail's man in Spain Pete Jensen has seen the striker every step of the way, and here he runs down the best Messi masterpieces served up down the years. Lionel Messi grabbed his 600th goal for Barcelona when he scored against Atletico Madrid in terms of technique this is his greatest goal. It was only a Copa del Rey semi-final first leg and it was one of five goals Barca scored on the night but his run from halfway past five defenders astounded everyone, including famous Catalan commentator Joaquim Puyol who just kept screaming, still Messi, still still messy, still messy, into his microphone. The similarities with Diego Maradona's goal against England in 1986 were obvious. Although from some angles Maradona's goal looked as if Terry Butcher had poked it past Peter Shilton, Lionel Messi burst onto the scene with his breathtaking run from his own half against Getafe. This was a much cleaner rounding of the keeper and finish into an empty net. He had sprinted 60 metres in 10 seconds and with just 13 touches. Barcelona's then-president Joan Laporta can be seen laughing in his seat in the director's box. And Barca's then-sporting director Texiki Bagirishtan said he hoped Maradona would forgive him but he thought this goal was better. Incredibly, Barca lost the second leg 4-0 and went out of the cup. This is the opposite to the first goal. It's not about the quality, it's about the moment and the statement it made. There is nothing this player can't do. Going into the Champions League final in Rome much was made of Messi never having scored against an English team, and as we tried to find a weakness in his game much was made of the fact that, well, he's not great in the air, is he? With 20 minutes left and Barcelona needing a second goal to seal victory, Xavi hangs a cross up and the shortest man on the pitch drifts away from Rio Ferdinand and heads it back over Edwin van der Sar's head. His boot falls off in the process and he picks it up and kisses it as he wheels away to celebrate. Messi proved he was a man for the big occasion when he headed in against Manchester United the goal-sealed victory in the 2009 Champions League final at the Stadio Olimpico Bark when Arsenal were in the Champions League and capable of giving Barcelona a game. They came close to beating them in 2011 but Messi did for them with just three touches. Cesc Fabregas had given the ball away on the edge of his own area, you can't do that there, the famous line from Martin Tyler went. Controlling an Andres Iniesta pass with his first touch, flicking it over the advancing Manuel Almunia with his second, and volleying it home with his third Messi scored, the game had turned irreversible in Barca's favour. The Argentine broke Arsenal resistance and hearts when he bamboozled their defence in 2011 for Jerome Boateng, he went down like a tired heavyweight in the 12th round when Messi turned him in the penalty area to score his second goal of the night in Barcelona's 3-0 win over Pep Guardiola's Bayern Munich. Guardiola had said before the game that Messi was unstoppable, the Germans believed that with the world's greatest in goal for them they had a chance of proving their manager wrong, but Manuel Neuer was swatting flies when Messi dinked the ball over him to score. Boateng saw the whole thing from pitch level, literally. Jerome Boateng had a moment to forget when he was sat down by the striker's sheer skill Messi finished a trademark run by dinking the ball over Manuel Neuer, one of the world's best Messi never over elaborates. There are no step overs. He doesn't take two touches when one will do, and if 90 minutes are already up at the Bernabeu and the score is 2-2 then urgency is even more paramount. Messi has disappeared into his own little pocket of time and space when Giordi Alba's cross finds him. Then he swings the left peg and puts the ball between Kaylor Navas dive and the post. The celebration was something special too. Holding up the number 10 shirt. He had won the match with the last kick of the game. Messi's celebration was as iconic as his last-minute strike to beat Real Madrid last year.